the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Please be seated. Good morning, your, your grace. Good morning, my brother priest. Good morning, uh, all the religious, our parents, their parishioners, and Holy Family. And you're welcome to Holy Family Catholic Church Life Camp. Today, we are gathered to celebrate uh, in the Society of African Missions the addition of three new members. With these new three, will be our number in Nigeria province will become 69. That's 69 Nigerian <laughs> priests. And in addition to this joyous celebration, we are also celebrating four of our brothers who are celebrating 25 years in the priesthood. So we celebrate uh, Father Tony Fevlo from Ghana, Father Mario Abi, Nigerian, Father Martin Uwosu, Nigerian, and uh, Father Julius Temui, Nigerian as well. They've been in this uh, priesthood for the past 25 years. So it's a very, very happy celebration for us. So thank you all for coming to grace this occasion, and uh, may God in his mercy continue to answer our prayers. The celebration definitely is going to be beautiful, and may God continue to receive the glory. Once more, welcome to Holy Family, and God bless you. Thank you, Father Anthony for the words of welcome. I want to be at home with this congregation. I want to know who is who. Even those to be ordained, we may not know them. Those who are doing silver jubilee, they are among us here, you may not know them. Those who have come from home, their families, they are here, we may not know them. So to make me feel at home and to make you become aware of who we are here. I would like those to be ordained, it's obvious, they are there. Please, could you just stand, let them see you. This, this, uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. So, you can sit down. So, <laughs> they are the reason why we are gathered here today. You have been told that in addition to this wonderful favor God has done for us. There are four of our brothers who have clocked 25 years as Catholic priests. And I would also want them to stand. Let us know where they are. Where are you? Very good. So, you know where they are, you can see it, fathers, so that when you are saying your prayers, you know the direction to direct them. <laughs> and uh, you can see there are many priests here. Most of them are SMA priests. You know them, we are here, you can see us. Some are priests of the Archdiocese of Abuja. But I would also like to know the parents of these ordinance and the parents of these jubilarians. If you are here, I know you are here, just stand all together. Let us know where you are seated and, and we shall appreciate you. The parents of the... Welcome. Very good. You sit down. So, you are welcome. And we thank you for the tremendous service you have rendered by allowing your sons to become Catholic priests in the SMA. Good. I feel more at home now. At least I am more familiar with the environment. I can see 
the choir, they don't need any introduction. They have already introduced themselves before we came with their wonderful singing. And then I see behind there, there's a group in uniform. I think um, they are the supporters, the mission support. You are the, you are the auxiliary of the SMA. Can you stand? Let us see you, the auxiliary members. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Sit down. Wonderful. Then I see the Reverend Sisters are there, the seminarians are there, the wonderful people of God are, are here. It's a wonderful day. Let us rejoice and be glad. Can you stand now and we continue with the Holy Mass? And to prepare ourselves for this Holy Mass, let's acknowledge our sins and ask God, the Father of mercy, to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Lord, our God, who is governing your people, make use of the ministry of priests, grant a persevering obedience to your will to these deacons of your church, whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood, so that by their ministry and life they may gain glory for you in Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good tidings to the afflicted. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a gallard instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. The word of the Lord. Go and make disciples of all nations. Go and make disciples of all nations.
Thompson called C1C. Beloved, I remind you to rekindle the gifts of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. Do not be ashamed then of testifying to our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But take your share of suffering for the gospel in the power of God, who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not in virtue of our works, but in virtue of his own purpose and the grace which he gave us in Christ Jesus ages ago and now has manifested through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. For this gospel, I was appointed a preacher and apostle and teacher, and therefore I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am sure that he is able to guard until that day what has been entrusted to me. Follow the pattern of the sound words which you have heard from me in the faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. Guard the truth that has been entrusted to you by the Holy Spirit who dwells within us. The word of the
At that time, Jesus called his disciples to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever will be great among you must be your servant. And whoever will be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for me. The Gospel of the Lord. Let those to be ordained priests please come forward. Reverend Robert Dimquam. SMA present Reverend Johanna Zakaria SMA present Reverend Alexander Abba SME. Present. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these, our brothers, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these men, our brothers, for the order of the priesthood. Thanks be to God. Jesus, 
Well, I can see you are already so happy, excited with what is happening today. We are blessed with three deacons, Reverend Alexander Abba, Reverend Robert Diamquap, and Reverend Zachariah Johanna, who will receive Christ's power. That is why we are gathered here, that they will receive Christ's power. They will receive the great gift of the priesthood to serve the people of God in the church and to sanctify them through the sacraments. This priestly ordination today does not mark an end to their journey. The journey of the priesthood is almost forever. It doesn't end. You may think they have finished so many years of philosophy and theology. Now they are ordained, it is all over. No, it is just the beginning of the journey because they have to be priests such as the people of God wish to have. I am sure you want priests. Is that so? And not only priests, you also want very good priests. Is that so? Yes. That is it. That is why I say for them is a journey that has started and hoping that they will be able to meet the demands of the people of God. They will exercise their ministry of priests like that of St. Paul. His ministry was characterized by personal holiness, selflessness, pastoral solicitude, and he was an instrument in breaking down the social or cultural barriers. This is what they are called to, and it is no mean task. The call of the prophets in the Old Testament often came at a time of worsening social and political situations time of religious hypocrisy, economic fraudulence, and oppressive practices. That was when God would call a prophet, somebody unexpected. God would say, come, I want to use you. As God called the prophet in those days, so he is calling us. We are the contemporary prophets. All these people you see on the altar, not the prophets who predict election of APC or PDP, <laughs> prophets who speak the truth and they speak the mind of God. Because we have so many prophets now, they will tell you that something will happen in one week. For, for God's sake, even without being a prophet, don't you know that something will happen in one week? Yes, we have them. So we are not talking of such prophets. These are prophets called by God to speak out the truth and hard truth, the truth that is bitter. They are called to build and to plant. They are called to inspire people in whatever is true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, and commendable, as Philippians 4.8 says. My dear priests, to be, in a short while you will become priests. I will not call you priests to be again. You will become priests. We shall soon welcome you as fellow workers, called and consecrated, so that as Isaiah, we read in the first reading, chapter 61, verses 1 to 3, says, you will bring good tidings to the afflicted, bind up the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to captives, comfort those who mourn, those who are mourning, and there are many in our society, they are mourning, either out of sickness or out of social deprivation or out of lack. Some even what to eat, some what to treat themselves with when they go to hospital. They lack all this, and they are mourning. We are not called to supply all this for them because that is the duty of government. 
but we are called to be there for them, that they have shoulders to cry on, that they have a sympathetic ear when they are in these agonizing moments. And that is what you are called to. You are not a social worker. You are a father. Today, they will start calling you as Reverend Father. That is a father that is revered. Even though you are young, you are no longer young. You are a father, and this is who you are. So we ask you, and we beg you, not to take this grace of God you will receive today for granted. And we ask you also to do nothing that people might object to, so as not to bring discredit to our functions as servants of God. We are servants of God, and we should be the light. We should be the models. We should be the example. Do not do anything to dampen or darken this image of servants of God. And also, do not be distracted by the very many things you are renouncing. You are renouncing by your threefold vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience that you will serve God better in his kingdom. Do not allow those things to distract you from the vows you have taken. You know, there are so many temptations. But remember, you are standing before us. Even before now, you have already taken those vows. Please, hold on to them and be faithful. You will see that you will progress in your priestly ministry. You will be a happy person, and the people around you will be happy because you will render very fruitful services to them. So we ask that you remember these all the days of your life. Jesus wants you, the new priests, and all of us under 25 years or then, either above 25 years or then, there are some here, some are under 25 years or then, and these ones are just waiting to reach the minute of their priesthood. So to us all, Jesus is talking that we should preserve the dignity of the office of the priesthood and live according to the will of Jesus. We should preserve that dignity, the priestly dignity. The people here have gathered because they respect the office of priesthood and they believe it is a sacred office. They have come to support you, to pray with you, so that you will be a faithful priest, drawing people to Christ, and bringing Christ to the people. The life of a priest is a life of giving more than receiving. You are going to give and give, rather than give me, give me. It's a life of giving, rather than receiving. Jesus is therefore sending you, not in search of personal purses, haversacks, sandals, the very things he forbade his disciples from looking for while on mission. He said, carry no haversack, no purses, and so on. You are supposed to leave this behind. So don't, after having promised Jesus that you are going to forsake this in order to serve him faithfully, then you start pursuing this as if that is your mission. Let nobody tempt you. Let nobody force you, pressurize you into seeking these material things that you say you are leaving behind. Go, therefore, and be messengers of hope, animators of faith, communities, and spiritual guides. You are to be a voice of truth, justice, and peace. Abraham, as we read in Genesis 12, was summoned to leave his homeland rather unexpectedly, an unknown destination, and he left in the spirit of absolute obedience. Abraham was asked to leave his home. He left without questioning. Okay, the apostles also traveled over land and sea to make disciples from all nations. They boldly preached the gospel, not minding the hardships. They suffered, but they continued. They preached in season and out of season. St. Paul is credited with the spread of the gospel to the Gentiles 
beyond the narrow confines of Jewish territory. St. Paul had to risk his life and everything to bring the gospel to the Gentiles. This was what the SMA missionaries did when they came to Nigeria. We therefore today acknowledge with gratitude to God the over 160 years of SMA missionary presence in Nigeria. I hope my calculation is correct because we celebrated 150 years in 2012 and when I add that it's of now 100 and over 60 years. They have been consistently present in Nigeria. You know, these young people, these SMAs that came, they were young people, just like these young priests you see there. They were very young people, but they left their father, their mother, their home, everything, the comfort of Europe, they came to Nigeria. And they knew that they came, they could die. They, they came. You know what happened to them? Some mosquito bite. Now, that time there was no malaria um, tablet or medicine. A simple mo mo mosquito bite would send them to the grave. And they were dying. What amazed me was that they kept coming. If they heard that one, two, three had died, you would think that they would say, no, no, this is a dangerous mission. They kept coming. They kept coming. I remember so well the letter of Father Maurice Henry, who was then the superior SMA region of Nigeria, in 2013, he wrote to the bishops to tell us about the 150 years of the SMA in Nigeria and how the first Holy Mass in modern times was celebrated in Lagos by Francesco Borghero, SMA, on the 9th of March, 1862, the first time a mass in the modern times. But remember that before that time, there were some missionary efforts. The Portuguese had come, the Spanish explorers had come, the Italian missionaries had come. They had established themselves in Benin and other kingdoms. The Oba of Benin and the Benin Kingdom in the 15th century, they were already there. So the Franciscans also came, but the thing was that these missions did not last. Even though they made little, very little impact, they did not last. It was only much, much, much later that the SMA in 1862 came to Lagos, and I want to believe that was the first time there was a deliberate attempt to begin evangelization of Nigeria, 1862. In modern times, we can say that was actually the first time that this took place. Other congregations, I don't know your history, but this is the history that I was told, and I believe it because it is authentic. Dear brothers and sisters, they came. Those missionaries, I told you, they were just young people like this. They came ready to die. They knew they were going to die. Their parents knew they were going to die. They came because of the love of Jesus. And they wanted to preach the salvation of souls. Remember, at that time, there were no social infrastructure. 1862 in Lagos, what do you have? It was like a village. There were no infrastructure. The language that the people spoke, they did not understand. And uh, there were so many problems of health. I told you how the mosquitoes dealt with them. Just one mosquito bite would send you to the grave. If you go to Shendam Diocese, you will see the graves of SMA early missionaries. Their graves are there. There were young people who came. They just kept dying. One, Father Ernest Berlin, died in Shendam, 1907. Father Charles Schumacher also died in Shendam, 1909. Father Donald Schelker in Demshin, around Shendam, 1919. You know, they just kept dying. But the fact is that they did not 
stop coming. You see, the courage to preach the word of God, to preach the kingdom of God. They planted the mustard seed, which has grown to full maturity. Just look around. See, the mustard seed that they planted, it's grown to full maturity. Look at you. Look at us. Baptized priests. Some of us have become bishops. It's because of their work, their labor of love. So on this day, we thank those courageous missionaries. Their life was characterized by selflessness, accountability, humility, generosity of heart, and unquestioning obedience. That was what characterized their life. They gave, they gave and gave without counting the cost. Dear brothers and sisters, 25 years ago, Father Julius Temui, Father Martin Wosu, Father Anthony Fevlo, and Father Colonel Mario were ordained SMA priests and have served in Nigeria and in other places, contributing their quota to the evangelization, and that they are alive today and still looking very strong, we thank God. We thank God for the gift of their lives. And we say well done for all the work you have done in and outside Nigeria. God certainly will reward your efforts. We say congratulations to you on this day. We hope that many people will be here to witness the next 25 years of your priesthood. And they will, and they will benefit from your services. To you, the silver jubilarians, St. Paul advises in 2 Timothy 1.6, he says to you today, rekindle the gift of God that is in you. Do not be ashamed of witnessing or suffering for the gospel. Guard the truth that has been entrusted to you by the Holy Spirit. Please, my dear friends, continue your service. Continue to be selfless, to be zealous and dedicated priests for Jesus. Your lives poured, poured as a libation in humble service to God, but all this should be rooted in the Eucharist and in prayer. I wish you many more peaceful, fruitful, and happy years in the priesthood. The gospel advises the new priests the priest to be ordained soon, and indeed all of us priests, to not to be like secular rulers who lord it over people. The Bible says, Jesus says himself, it shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant. And Jesus goes on to say, as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, so shall you be. Matthew 20, 25 to 28. Unfortunately, today we have among us wolves, not only in our Catholic church, but all over. Because everywhere you go, you find churches springing up every day. This one is a superintendent. This one is supervisor. This one is extreme engineer. They, I know they are all titles. They are just springing up. And they have no root with the past. They don't know what the church was when it started. The times of the fathers of the church, the times of the apostles, they, they just come at the top and then they start to preach. And what they preach sometimes is completely not the gospel. So we have them. And it's right that Jesus calls such people wolves, clothed in religious garb. They are ready to commercialize the gospel and spiritual valuables. They commercialize everything. Everything is about how to bring in money. Before, they would accuse the Catholic Church, oh, we are doing so many things that are not in the Bible. Where is the Bible that you should have candle? Where in the Bible that you should have holy water? Where in the Bible that you should have oil? Where in the Bible, where is it that you should have a cross to wear on your neck and so on? But today, they have overtaken us in all those things. They wear the biggest cross. You see, my cross is small. But if we see one, it's as large as almost this cross. <laughs> you know? And uh, I remember 
Somebody told me they went to England for a meeting. They lodged in a hotel together with some of these different religious leaders. A Catholic bishop was there. So when it was time to go, the bishop stepped out in his own suit and so on. But the other person who calls himself a bishop stepped out and he was wearing a mitre like my own. Going to a meeting, going to a meeting, wearing a mitre. And when the bishop, the Catholic bishop asked him, why, why, no, that is not, he said, no, 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 that he wants them to know that he is a bishop. He wants them to know. So these are the people that distort the gospel message. And it's all about commercializing the gospel or the spiritual values. Their message is not about peace or repentance or the kingdom of God, but about prosperity, prosperity and miracles. Hence, they are out in search of horses, haversack sandals, the very things that Jesus told preachers not to search for. Let us pray for these, our priests. We don't want you to go in that direction at all. Thank God by the training you receive in the Catholic Church and by the traditions of the SMA fathers, you have been groomed, you have been drilled, you have been boiled, and I don't think you will give in easily. So don't go after these things of the world. Go about serving Christ. You are to be priests after the heart of Jesus Christ. And also we, the Christians, must also be there for them so that they can minister to us. If they are preaching to you and you don't listen, then this priesthood or the ordination is meaningless. It's when they preach, you know they are preaching Christ. And then you also will try your best as followers of Christ to be the salt and light of our society. Our society is fast becoming too secular, very secular. So we must stand up. You, the Christians, must stand up. Beat your chest and say, I am a Christian. I am proud to be a Catholic. I am not ashamed. I am a witness. I am an ambassador. I am a soldier of Christ. Be proud to say that in a world that is so afraid to call the name of God. They don't want God because God is going to interfere with their freedom. They want to behave anyhow. Please stand up and say, I am a Christian. I love God and I believe in God and I will believe in him all the days of my life. Do so. So I conclude by thanking you, the parents. You stood up, we saw you. The parents of this ordinance and your own relations, we thank you. We also thank the parents and families of the Silver Jubilarians for offering their sons to God for service in the church and for humanity. We thank you sincerely. We thank all those who have overseen their formation I am sure some are here, those who supported these priests and even these ones 25 years old, then, they must have enjoyed tremendous support materially and spiritually. We thank all those who helped them and we thank those who have brought these three to this day of ordination. May God bless and reward you immensely. So I want to thank the superior SMA Nigeria Province, Father Emmanuel Zinsu, SMA, for inviting me to preside at this celebration. I have had a lot to do with the SMA in Jaws and other places, but today is special to me that I am here presiding at the ordination. I am so happy and I feel this brings us closer and closer. And I appreciate the work they are doing in our archdiocese you can see the phenomenal response to the work they are doing. But Anthony is here as parish priest here with others. They are doing a good job. So please keep them in your prayers and also support them. All I can say is the Lord has started his good work here in Holy Family Parish Life Camp Abuja. So, and I say, may the Lord who has begun this good work bring it to completion. Amen. Mary, mother of priests, pray for our new priests. Pray for our 25-year-old priests. Pray for all these priests. They are your children. Pray for them. Pray for them, oh, blessed Mary, our mother.
And all this we ask through Christ our Lord. Okay. Now the ordination rite proper begins. Dear sons, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve with the help of the Holy Spirit to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral rank? as worthy fellow workers with the order of bishops in caring for the Lord's flock? Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely, preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? Do you believe me to celebrate, do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care by observing the command to pray without ceasing? Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ the High Priest who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice and with him to consecrate yourselves to God for the salvation of all? Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Amen. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment.
My, my dear people, let us pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven on these his servants whom he has chosen for the office of priest. Let us kneel.
we beseech you, Lord our God, and pour out 
on these servants of yours the blessing of the Holy Spirit and the power of priestly grace, that those whom in the sight of your mercy we offer to be consecrated may be surrounded by your rich and unfailing gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us stand.
Adonia, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, author of human dignity, it is you who apportion all graces. Through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appoint ministers of Christ your Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already in the earlier covenant, offices arose established through mystical rites. When you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them, you chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too, in the desert, you implanted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of 70 wise men, and with their help, he ruled your people with greater ease. So also upon the sons of Aaron, you poured out an abundant share of their father's plenty, that the number of the priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Holy Father, you sent your Son into the world, Jesus, who is apostle and high priest of our confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his apostles consecrated in the truth, share us in his mission. You provided them also with companions and to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole world. And now we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness to grant us these helpers that we need to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, to these servants the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within them the spirit of holiness. May they henceforth possess this office which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of bishop, and by the example of their manner of life, may they instill right conduct. May they be worthy co-workers with our order, so that by their preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, May they be faithful stewards of your mysteries so that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth and nourished from your altar so that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May they be joined with us, O Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to their care and for all the world. And so... May the full number of the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your one people and made perfect in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And with the prayer of consecration culminated, we now have brand new Reverend Fathers. Chasuble.
the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. The Lord, Je the, Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. The Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate. And conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do. Imitate what you celebrate. And confirm your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross.
We now have Reverend Father Robert, Reverend Father Alex, and Reverend Father Zachariah to the glory of God. They shall now make their way to join the Archbishop on the altar. It is now time for our usual offering. Choir, give us a song, please.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O God, who have willed that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of this sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you and in your church bear that fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, we are pleased to decree that the one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with a royal priesthood, the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in the sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacred, the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the Paschal Banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with your word and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of the brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed in the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, 
and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Is alive. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Ignatius, our Archbishop here present, and Sam, his auxiliary, 
with the order of bishops, these your servants, who have been ordained today as priests for the church, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all whom we are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Precept is salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, aude hemus dihicere. grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ Amen. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. May the body and blood of Christ bring all of us to everlasting life. Prayer before Holy Communion, prayer for help. O oh God, Glory to Jesus, dearly beloved in Christ, we welcome you once more to this Eucharistic celebration. It is now time for the Holy Communion, and it is expected that those who usually receive this sacrament will avail themselves for this. Those of us that are coming for the first time, kindly remain where you are and pray for the grace of God.
Meadows Spring. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new life to your priests and to all your servants that, united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. At this point, we shall now invite the newly ordained priest and our jubilarians to go down the aisle and process with a beautiful dance of thanksgiving to God. Today we shall have uh, the dance from our brand new Tierroba Popori handsome fathers, the newly ordained priest, Reverend Father Alex Aba SMA, Reverend Father Zakaria Johanna SMA, and Reverend Father Robert Diamkwa SMA. A round of applause to them, please. While we also call on the jubilarians, the Reverend Father Martin Ugu, SMA. Please, a round of applause to him. 25 years. It's not easy. The Reverend Father Connell Mario, SMA. Please, a round of applause to Father. The Reverend Father Julius Temui, SMA. A round of applause to him, please. And the Reverend Father Anthony Tevlu, SMA. A round of applause to Father, please. They are also going to give us a jubilee dance. Bang! Kindly help us with that. We invite friends, family, members, and all well-wishers, including our priests, to kindly join them in thanking God for the gift of the priesthood. Amen. The Idoma Music Group is about to anchor the first Amen. Amen. presentation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. SMA Jesus for Africa of course we can't do without you join us in thanking God for the gift of the priesthood three of our brothers now reverend fathers and four of our brothers are celebrating God's faithfulness for these past 25 years please Join us in thanking God for their lives. I love you to Madame. This is the best. I Reverend Father Alex Abba, you show us the style to this dance, please. Mata Zumanta Puishiri. Zumanta Mata. Alada Tumaga
Jesus Munta over to you. So can we clap for the Zumbutan Mata, uh, Mata, sorry, we don't play well. Mata Zumbutan Mungo de Mupu. A round of applause to our mothers, the Zumbutan Mata. You agree with me, this has been a wow. Can we all say wow? At this point, we shall now invite the newly ordained to give us their blessings. And immediately, I uh, would respectfully invite His Grace, the Archbishop of Abuja, who is the ordaining prelate, to kindly come forward while the newly ordained priest blesses him. Bless him. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for the life of your servant, Archbishop Ignatius Kaikana. 
We pray and ask that you will give him the good health of mind and body. Grant him, O Lord, your wisdom. May he live long in the Lord's vineyard. May his throne be established in heaven and on earth. Like Melchizedek of old, grant him wisdom to shepherd his flock to the path of righteousness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What an honor. We are all going to lay their hands on the Archbishop who just ordained them. To the glory of God, can we give them a round of applause? Okay, we will now um, invite all the priests and religious kindly wherever they are kneel for their own blessings please. our help is in the name of the Lord Gracious and loving Father, we thank you for the gift of our priests and religious. You have called them and set them apart for the precious tasks of preaching your good news and making known your peace on the earth. Look kindly upon them with your eyes of mercy, especially in their moments of frailties. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, who will survive. Father, in their moments of doubt, increase their faith. Father, in their moments of sorrow, increase their joy. Father, in their moments of despair, increase their hope. Grant them the wisdom and the strength they need to continue to shepherd your people in truth. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. Can we give a new priest a round of applause, please? <laughs> we shall now invite the parents, kindly, the parents of the newly ordained priest to please come forward. Yeah, yeah. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Father, we want to thank you for our dear parents. We want to thank you for the unconditional love they have shown to us. They have watched us grow to be men. They have watched patiently. They have shared in our joy and sorrows. They have shared in our success and failures. They had sleepless nights just to see us grow. They have taught us the way to Christ. They have instilled in us the fear of God. They have shown us the path to righteousness. For that, we want to thank you, Lord, for their gift. Bless them. Protect them from the evil one. And for the sick ones among them, grant them healing of mind and body. Amen. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. What a joy, seeing children now blessing their parents. A round of applause to our new Jewish kids. Thank you, thank you. Parents, you can now return to your seats. Finally, we invite every one of us in this church 
all the faithful gathered here, kindly be on your, be, uh, kneel down for your own blessings, please. I lift up my eyes to the mountain. From where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble. Amen. Let him sleep not your God. Amen. No, he sleeps not, nor slumbers Israel's God. The Lord your God, the Lord your shield. At your right hand he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guide you from evil. He will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in. May he grant you good health in mind and in body. And may he bless the work of your hands. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And let the people of God say another Amen. amen. Without any further ado, we shall now invite the Provincial Secretary, Reverend Father Henry Chumoba, SMA, for the vote of thanks. Your Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Kaigama, the Catholic Archbishop of Abuja Archdiocese, the Provincial Sec Superior of the SMA Nigerian Province, the Reverend Father Emmanuel Zinsu, SMA, and members of his council, the Parish Priest of Holy Family Catholic Church, Life Camp, Reverend Father Anthony Olanio, SMA, all the priests and religious here present, our esteemed parents and sponsors, beloved brothers and sisters gathered here today, it is my honor to stand before you on behalf of the superior, the silver jubilarians, and the ordinance, they happen to be my classmates. I stand here to convey our heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you. Alphonse Carr once said, some people are always grumbling because roses have tongues, but that is not our case. In our own case, we are grateful and thankful because thorns have roses. Ten years of intense initial formation and 25 years of profound and rich pastoral experience of priestly life. Our utmost gratitude goes to God Almighty for whom we have received all that we have been blessed with. It is He who has invited this your servant to partake in this mission. It is He who has sustained us all along since the sets out on their pastoral and priestly vocation. May his name be praised both now and forever. Amen. Special words of thanks to our beloved Father and Archbishop, Most Reverend Dr. Ignatius Kaigama. Thank you for your resolute hard work, your steadfast integrity, true, noble, genuine, and fatherly character. Your grace, your face show, your shoe shine. Your magnanimity and ready acceptance on our making the request is something that will remain in our hearts. May the Lord keep you steadfast in his vineyard to continue to save your people. Amen. Amen. To our SMA family, the provincial superior and his council, SMA priests, members, seminarians, SMA support group, SMA youth, we are grateful for the sacrifices you make to grace us with your presence each time. The spirit of family that you express always gives us hope for the future. We thank you always for identifying with us in all moments. We are infinitely grateful to you all. To all priests from various dioceses, congregations, society of apostolic life and religious sisters here present, thank you for gracing this solemn occasion with your presence. May God continue to bless and grant fulfillment to your endeavors through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
we thank the families of our celebrants that have traveled from far and near, from Benue, from Kaduna, from Jos, and also from outside of the country, most especially Ivory Coast, where our brothers finished their theological formation. Thank you for your presence, patience, and faithful love that has made known to us a God who loves patiently and faithfully. You lay the foundation on which their life rests. In good times, you have been green pastures where they find rich nourishment. We thank you and we love you. We sincerely thank the parish priest, his assistant, the members of the parish pastoral council, the various liturgical committees, the choir, the lectors, the church wardens, the liturgical committee of the archdiocese, represented by the liturgists, for all the hard work and dedication that you have put into planning this event. From start to the very point, everything was executed flawlessly, and it was clear that a tremendous amount of thought and effort went into every detail. Three goes out for them. Goes out. If we have left anyone out, please pardon me. We love you and we appreciate your relevance and goodwill. We say thank you to the parishioners of this great parish, Holy Family Catholic Church Life Camp. As we move forward from here, we remember the saying that says that success is in the journey itself. We implore that as you have journeyed with them up till this time, so may you continue because the journey of the priestly life has just begun and the challenges and rich experiences of priestly life are yet to be exhausted. Thank you, Bessie Buku, Nangode, Dalo, Adukbe. As you return to your various destinations, may Our Lady of Perpetual Help accompany you with our protecting grace and fill you with the infinite grace you need. God bless you. May I now respectfully invite the Provincial Superior, the Reverend Father Emmanuel Zinsu, SME, for his own intervention. SME. It's as if we are tired. SME. Jesus for Africa. The vote of thanks has been done, so I won't go back on that. I will just go straight. Our brothers have been ordained, and as we know, they are not ordained to stay back in their family. They are ordained for the mission. And I'm standing here just to tell you where they will be beginning their missionary experience. As the saying goes that charity begins at home, mission is everywhere, not only in the other country. So for this reason, Reverend Father Zachariah Johanna will begin his missionary work here in Nigeria. <laughs> Reverend Father Alex Abba has been sent to minister to the people of God in Syria alone. Reverend Father Robert Dienkwa has been sent to minister to the people of God in Togo. As we heard in the homily of the Archbishop, 
The SMA first came into Nigeria in 1862, and so the work of evangelization started. The founder had four resolutions, and one of them is to establish the local clergy so that once the church is established, it is handed over to the local clergy. And I believe for this reason, it took many years for the society to come to the decision of admitting Africans into the society. When I meet some bishops, they will say they wanted to be SMA, but then the priest said, no, you become a diocesan, because that was the objective of the founder. But it came to the time that the reflection began that it is high time that the Africans ought to become missionaries in the Society of African Missions. And that decision was finally taken in 1983. And so it is 40 years this year that the first Africans were admitted into the society. And that is why you see, compared to other congregations, that the number of Africans, I mean Nigerians in particular in the SME, are not that much if we are to consider the 161 years that we have been present in Nigeria. With these three ordained, we are now 69 in number. We're supposed to be 73, but unfortunately, four have been called to join the Father in his kingdom, and we pray that they may continue to rest in peace. And it is in this vein also we rejoice with our jubilarians who are celebrating 25 years anniversary this year. I will now invite them to come forward before the altar. Very Reverend Father Martin Ugo Mwosu, SMA, who is presently working in Ivory Coast. <laughs> Reverend Father very Reverend Father Mario Abi, who is currently in Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> Very Reverend Father Julius Olusegun Temui, SMA, also working in Lagos as a promoter. He's the man that uh, his job is to look for money, to promote the SMA and look for money. And Reverend, very Reverend Father Tony Fevlo, SMA, who is from Ghana, but working in Kevon. Before we make the presentation we have to them, the present we have to them, I we humbly invite the Archbishop to please Pray for them and bless them. In the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father in heaven, for calling us to be your children. You have also called some specifically to be the ministers of the gospel. These your four sons have responded to that call 25 years ago. Lord, you know every day of the 25 years they have spent. You know all the work they have done. We ask you, Lord, to make it possible for this work they have done in the past to continue to bear fruits, fruits that will last. Lord, fill them with more graces. Inject them with more energy, both spiritual and physical. Forgive, O oh Lord, their failings in the past. 
they look forward with hope and assurance that you are with them and you will guide them in the remaining part of their ministry. May all go well with them. May they find love and unity among their SMA brothers and among the communities in which they work. May they be real witnesses and be great models for the people of God. Give them health of mind and body. And wherever they go, Lord, continue to be with them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy home, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and the hour. And may the Lord Almighty bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go and continue the good work you have started. And may the Lord bring all the good work you do to perfect conclusion. Shall I invite the newly ordained to come uh, make the presentation of the gifts for the jubilarians? Can we give them a round of applause once more, please? Thank you, Your Grace. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, cordially imparts the request, apostolic blessing to Father Abbey, Colonel Mario, who is SM, on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of his priestly ordination, invoking through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary an abundance of divine grace. Eight, 4th of July. 2023. A round of applause. <laughs> the Holy Father Francis cordially impart the requested apostolic blessing to Father Umusu Martin Ubu SME on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of his princely ordination, invoking through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary an abundance of divine grace. For July 2023. A round of applause once more. The Holy Father, Francis, cordially imparts the requested apostolic blessing to Father Temui Julius Olushegu, SMA, on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of his priestly ordination, invoking through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary an abundance of divine grace, 4th of July, 2023. A round of applause. When the name Uli Shegun was mentioned, I heard some people say Obasanjo. I don't think so. Very good.
the Holy Father, Francis, cordially imparts the requested apostolic blessing to Father Fevlo Anthony, SMA, on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of his priestly ordination, invoking through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary an abundance of divine graces. 8th of August, 2023. Round of applause as well. Thank you so much, fathers. Yeah, maybe you present it. Thank you, brothers. To conclude, I would like to say a word of gratitude to His Grace for His gift, first of the priesthood, to the, uh, to the newly ordained, and also the gift He gave to them for them to celebrate. So thank you so much, Your Grace. Uh, when we visited the grace, he gave the newly ordained a cow and a bag of rice for them to enjoy. So thank you so much for this. Very quickly, um, the superior started by saying SMA, and many of us didn't know the answer. So SMA, we say Jesus for Africa. SMA, Jesus for Africa. Jesus for Africa. SMA. I will kindly invite all the MSGs, that is the Mission Support Group members, to kindly be on their feet. MSG. So, dear people of God, these are SMA friends and collaborators that have, from their little, supported the work of missionary uh, priests in Nigeria and the ends of the world. As you can see, most of them are retirees, yet they are not tired. They come from Lagos, Abuja, Asaba, Benin City, Kaduna, Lafia, Joss, Kano, Gombe, Ilorin, Ibadan. Why don't you say the whole of Nigeria? Please, a round of applause for them. <laughs> Dear MSG members, you have done so much for us. We can't thank you enough. Today, these three newly ordained priests became priests through your efforts and support. And for this, we say thank you. May the good Lord bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Please sit. I single them out because we want to invite you, our friends, to collaborate with us in the world of evangelization. His Grace had mentioned earlier that he did so well in just, no doubt. I, for one, am the product of uh, his benevolence. Uh, he ordained me seven years ago in just, Plateau State. Please clap for him. We kindly solicit your continued support, Your Grace. Help us as we grow. The superior had said it already, that we're just a young congregation. We want the same collaboration that you had with us in just to kindly continue here. Daddy way the pampa, daddy way forever your, your father.
Please, we want to thank you, and we pray that our collaboration will reach the ends of the world through Christ our Lord. We have with us here the SMA calendar, and uh, well, both of them are calendars, one for the table and then one to be hung on the world. These are ways through which we support our missionary work, especially to missionaries who are in our areas. Kindly, you will see SMA friends outside with them, help buy them. This calendar is going for 1,000 Naira, while the table calendar, 1,500 Naira. As you buy them, may the good Lord bless you through Christ our Lord. So the reception will be for the, all the priests and religious, kindly uh, go to the civic center to your left where you're seated, but to my right where I'm standing. So the civic center is to my right. While uh, His Grace uh, will be upstairs here at the Father's house. Every other person kindly uh, find a space under the canopy for your own refreshment. Thank you so much. Now, uh, the group, group photograph, photograph will be at the grotto. So after the recession, all of us, when I mean all of us, the ministers will all gather around the grotto for the food, uh, group photograph. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you all. Yes. And also we must thank the Holy Family Life Camp for being good hosts. When they said the ordination would take place here, I knew it would be a success because the people here are full of hope and full of life. That is why there is so much life here in the life camp. So keep it up. May the Lord continue strengthening you. And um, as you have very efficiently hosted the ordination, we hope other programs that come your way, you will do likewise. Um, Father Samson said I should continue the collaboration we were having in JAWS. No doubt that will continue. But you know that, <laughs> but you know that Joss, Joss is different from Abuja. So that is why in Joss, I wouldn't have asked you to, to join in building a, a father's rectory in the purple ground, because there was no need for that. But in Abuja, we have so many projects, and that is why we are assigning one project to a parish, one to a parish, and you, uh, fortunately, or unfortunately, I don't know, are lucky to be assigned a project. And I'm sure with the life in the life come, we shall experience life. Yeah. So please um, listen to your priest and cooperate with us. It is the period we have called in the next five years of sacrifice for the Archdiocese of Abuja. There are many things we have by the grace of God, but there are many others we don't have. And that is why we have to all sacrifice. So do your best. I'm very optimistic. 
Father Anthony has shown tremendous enthusiasm and uh, the desire to cooperate with us is very strong. So please, let us keep working together. Once again, my brother Chris, I wish you well as you return. You travel in different directions. May God go with you. And you, the brother, deity, the men and women, our reverend sisters, the parents of the ordinance and the jubilarians, all, please go in the peace of Christ and may God be with you every day of your life. Amen. Thank you, choir. You sang, and I think I will score you with a distinction. Thank you, Father Pure, Father Sam Pure, the GMC. You know, the MC is the, when we are on the altar here, the MC takes charge. Even though the bishop wears the mitre, he's the one that directs. Go left, go right, go forward, sit down, stand up, and all that. So this is the MC, and he has done it so very well. May God bless you, Father Pure. All right. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May God, who founded the church and guides us still, protect you constantly with his grace, that you may faithfully discharge the duties of the priesthood. Amen. May he take you, may he make you a servant and witnesses in the world to divine charity and truth, faithful ministers of reconciliation. Amen. And may he make you true shepherds to provide the living bread and word of life to the faithful that they may continue to grow in the unity of the body of Christ. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.